Well, for more on the issue of sexual harassment, we are joined now by uh, Nick Hurley, who's a city employment lawyer with the firm Charles Russell. Thank you for joining us. Just how much of a problem is it in the city? I think it is a real big problem. Um, so the TUC a year ago uh, actually did a, a survey and they found that over 50% of people at work had been sexually harassed or been the victim of sexual harassment. And that was, of course, before the Harvey Weinstein uh, revelations and the Me Too social media campaign. So obviously now the issue has become even more prevalent uh, because of the way the media has attached itself to it. But it's been around for a long time and I think it's, it's something that is likely to endure. Uh, isn't the real problem that, especially in the city, I mean, this applies pretty much everywhere, mm. if you are making shed loads of money mm. for that particular bank or that uh, private equity firm or whatever it might be, you know, they're going to say, well, you know, we don't like the fact that he's using the wrong kind of language uh, down on the office floor, mm. but pff, he's key to our profitability and they turn a blind eye. There's something to be said for that. And, and when um, you look at these sort of issues, that, say, in an employment tribunal context, they will allow certain latitude for the work environment that the person works in. So if it's a very highly charged atmosphere like a city trading floor, there may be a little bit more give than there would be, say, in another type of environment. But, but generally, there needs to be very clear uh, and straightforward uh, messaging to the staff as to what's acceptable and what's not. You mentioned, you touched on it there, lots of people tend to think of the city as being pretty machismo mm. uh, and a macho atmosphere. Does that make it worse, do you think, than other parts of uh, London in terms of sectors and other parts of the country? I think it's it, perhaps a, a unique factor that can make things slightly worse in the city. Typically, the kind of dynamic you have uh, in, in, a, in a sort of situation where it may happen is you have a more senior individual, usually a man, um, actually uh, involved with a more junior female. That's the typical and classic dynamic. It doesn't have to be, but that's the usual way it works. I think in the city, because um, there is, as you say, more money flying around, uh, there is perhaps greater risk that it might be overlooked if you've got a star performer. But clearly, it's, it's an issue that needs to be dealt with. Why? Because it goes to reputation. Your reputation as a business and as an individual, if you're accused of this, can be absolutely destroyed. You don't have to look at Kevin Spacey uh, in the context of the old Vic to see how, how uh, a reputation can be completely broken and tarnished by something like this. So it's really important it's taken seriously. Are you not rubbing your hands at the prospect of all the possible litigation which is going to be following as an employment lawyer with the raised profile of all of this and the fact that people feel now empowered to say, no, uh, this can't go on and put their hands up and complain? Not really, no. I think we... Oh, come off we, it. We, <laughs> come off <laughs> well, we, we as lawyers, we represent both sides of the fence. So we will sometimes act for the complainant often will act for the respondent as well. So we see both so sides. you're rubbing your hands on both sides? Uh, no, not, not really. Of, you accept our viewers not to believe that you're not excited at the possible increase in revenue that you're going to be facing with, uh, with this? Well, it's clear that this issue has, has arisen in terms of prominence. Um, it's a more important issue. But as, as lawyers, we also uh, do a, hopefully a proactive job with our clients, trying to tell them how to avoid these situations happening. So to some extent, we train people, try to train people to avoid these situations arising where there's legal risk and damage to reputation. Have you ever worked for a firm or any other company where you've heard of things being said, things being done where you thought, you know, that's not right, either in the past or, or contemporary? Uh, I think in all businesses, uh, there are things that, that go on that shouldn't go on. And there, it, there are occasions where blind eyes may be turned to that. Uh, but they often will eventually come out and they'll need to be addressed. So it, it is something that ultimately often will come back and potentially haunt the business. We appreciate your time, Nick. Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure.